Hi, I'm Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Kirby's Dream Land 3. Going to somewhere in Ripple Field. I don't know where we are anymore. It's just, just a big old mess. There's some dudes here. I have choices because all of these guys have abilities. I think I've seen all of these with Rick. So who's going to keep fire? Oh, there was a dude up there who had rock. I guess I won't be seeing that because unfortunately I can probably not jump that high. Especially with the waterfall there. Waterfall actually has waterfall physics. Isn't that right, you cute little mollusk? Isn't that right? Well, I missed you. Oops, I guess you can go down. That is part of your AI. I have learned everything I needed to learn now. Finally. Starting to really regret not having a fish. Rick, can you transform yourself into a fish? Please? I, I'm, I'm begging you here. All right, well, okay, I obviously have options here, but uh, y you know what? I, there's pretty much only one option I can clearly go with, and uh, that is, of course, uh, I'm gonna leave Rick here with the cat. All right, Rick and Fluffy Kitty are friends to the end. That is my headcanon. Where did he go? You know what? It's not important. The point is we now have the ability to fish. Get out of here. <laughs> Why have I made a mistake? Turns out I needed to actually get the spark ability because it would allow me... Watch out, some of these doors are fake, by the way. They won't be fake until you get close to them. Ow. Who put this iron ball here? Who did it? I didn't. I'm pretty sure. There's a hidden door here. You're supposed to use, like, the magical abilities of abilities to see that. Sadly, fire doesn't actually light up the darkness, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. It's just, it's, it's a thing! Alright. There's probably, you know what, I think I vaguely remember there being a hidden door here. Somewhere. Do I remember this correctly? I sure do! All right, I can get myself a stone. I don't know why I would need it, but it gives me a tomato. Man, this fish does not like it when Kirby turns into a rock. He seems like legitimately upset about this whole ordeal. If I'm being completely honest, I'm gonna say, I think there's another door on the other side. It's just an empty room for some reason. It's fine. Uh, okay, there's probably also maybe a door here? I remember there being other doors, possibly, but maybe not here. Maybe not here. The camera, okay, the camera was weird for a hot second, cause like, it uh, it just, was, it was just weird. That's what it was doing, it was being weird. You know, that's, that's how it is. That's how it be. Uh, okay, I think it's over here. That's what I'm looking for. I found the Hall of Gordos. It is the most illustrious of halls. It's filled with stars until the end of the world. Truly a majestic experience I have lived. That's a Gordo. Having an ability for this fight might not be the best, but at the same time, it turns out it might be pretty good actually. Uh, these waterfalls are a thing, but it's fine. It is okay. All right. I have defeated the Gordo. I've done it thusly. Oh, going indoors is very difficult. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? You needed the spike ability to obtain the small frog. That's what you did need to do. There's a dude falling down the waterfall. He's there. I don't know what cutter fish is. Oh, man, it's basically fire, but... It's not. <laughs> That's not what it is at all. I think it's maybe a little bit quicker. Possibly. I don't actually know. Uh, I do know that, wow, you just kind of can't move when you use it. So that's pretty cool, I think. It's a good thing everybody can bounce on all the enemies in the known universe. Fish, jump on top of everything else. Okay, listen. I, I, I've had some issues with frogs in the past, but uh, I, you know what? I, you guys are fine. I'll, I'll, you just, I'll just let you guys live your life. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I don't want to, I don't want to be a hindrance, okay? I don't want to. All right, okay. Level five. 
There's a bird in the vortex! I can't believe you'd put a bird in the vortex. There's just a star hanging out over here. I love all the stars hanging out over here. I really, really do. Man, there sure are a lot of like water currents going on. Get out of here. Why are you here? I am a fish of the highest caliber. Ouchy pain. Why would you bite me like that? Stop it. I, I, I want, I don't even need it, but I want it, man. You, just, you don't take a man's ability and get away with it. You just don't. You don't. Uh, I have a feeling there's an essence of fish here. Uh, but I already have a fish, so it doesn't really matter. I can go against the current using the power of fish. Thank goodness. Uh, what's going on in here? Get out of here. Now I'm wondering what was over to the left because, uh... The fact of the matter is... I have obtained nothing by going this way, probably. It feels like this is progress. Which is weird. Like, was... Is the game just forcing me to take the fish? Is that what it's doing? And, like, the path back there just took me back if I didn't take the fish? I mean, I guess. To be fair, I kind of vaguely remember this being a puzzle of sorts. Case in point, we gotta figure out how to get a rock over here. Does anybody know where a rock is? I might have killed one on the way here, but admittedly, I don't remember. I wasn't paying that close attention, turns out. There might yet be a solution to this puzzle. Uh, no, that was the door that had the fire dude in it, so it's not in there. Okay, well... No, batty bat! Stop it! Why does everything in this level want to eat me? That's just rude. You don't do that! Uh, okay, well fish can't go through here, so let's get a move on! Kirby is a fireball. What a ban- what a banana. Why did I say that? Truth be told, I could not give you an answer. Ow. Well, I found the rock guy, but sadly he tried to assault me the exact second I knew he existed, so... That's pretty cool. Kirby by himself can roll down hills. That's... great. Alright. Let's just go ahead and, uh, remove that obstacle from our lives. This is a weird little kind of puzzle thing that exists for reasons, but you know what? I kind of dig it. It's pretty cool. Fish! Using his powers of being extremely in distress whenever Kirby uses the rock ability. Sorry, it's the stone ability. I have done a great disservice. I'm sorry. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I, I can't apologize enough, alright? I'm just, I'm sorry, okay? Alright, okay, alright. It's fine. Uh, you know what? I actually could really use that tomato. I'm glad that this game keeps giving me tomatoes when I need them most. That's pretty nice, if I'm being honest. All right, well, clearly the solution here is that uh, there's a mollusk somewhere. I'm just flinging myself in a direction because somehow this rock is still affected by water physics. Current, if you will. Well, there's the fish. Uh, remember when I drowned you? Yeah, sorry about that. Ah, yes, I am the great flying rockfish. I'm not a fish at all, it's a bird. Don't be confused. Just don't. Stop it. Alright. Uh, just gotta follow the path, cause, you know, there's, there's water current, I don't have fish anymore, so I can't exactly, uh, go where I desire anymore. I'm kinda, I'm kinda stuck going with the motions over here. Missed out on that tomato by deleting my fish. It's truly a sad day. I don't know if I need stone at all. I kinda doubt it. I'm pretty sure I just need the bird. Cause like, th th this is... The levels in this game always seem to follow a predictable pattern as far as the Heart Star missions go. Like, level 5 is always the bring an animal buddy to the end level. So, you know, it's just kind of the thing. Yeah, like, you'll, you'll notice a trend, because the first level is always flowers, the second level is, like, th the weird one, where you do a thing for a guy, and then, uh, the, 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 the third one's minigame, fourth one is find the missing person object or whatever, 
I'm not using this uh, candy to the best of my ability. I don't. I don't even know what happened there. I don't. Help! I'm sneezing. Ow! My invincibility ran out. Go, my bird! Bounce along very slowly. It will save the day, probably. I just. I need this of you. I need this of you right now. Hey! 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 No! Stop that! <laughs> You're bad! I can't believe you would be so bad. Hello! I found your son, maybe? Thanks for the thing. I'm taking him. Bye. <laughs> I want a tomato. Aw, oh, yeah! I did it. I ate a tomato. I'm the best. Now we gotta go over here. Uh, level six is always the, the the weird one. Usually it's like collecting things, but if I remember right, this one has nothing to do with collecting things, so I'm not really sure what this is. If I'm being totally truthful here. Uh, running on sand makes it so you don't run very fast at all, even though I've got a bird. But, you know, it's fine. I believe, actually, if I take Rick, Rick can run on the sand with no problems because don't ask questions. It just makes sense. All right, it just it just makes sense. Rick, you're probably a pretty cool dude. You know, you're just you're great. I'm never gonna give you up. All right, just never. All right, you're just you're my best friend in the world. Best friend. All right. Well, we have choices. What choice do you think I should take? Probably this one? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so here we have ourselves the solution to the puzzle. Um, I wanna go up, followed by down, followed by... Uh... This doesn't explain anything. I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Rick, Rick, I don't understand. Maybe it'll be more apparent if I just go, because admittedly, I don't remember this completely, so it's fine. All right, this is just kind of a weird little part of the game for some reason. It's just like, yeah, you gotta make a choice and uh, you gotta solve the maze, the maze of greatness. I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume this is like, it doesn't really matter what you pick. It does matter, in fact. This leads me to another door, a special door, where there's a fire bar made of not fire in the slightest. That's, that's what it is. Oh, well, it still hurts all the same, so that's pretty cool. Um, what's down here? Right, okay, this is what we're doing. Hello, how are you, friend? He's pretty cool. All right, well, the solution here is, um, I actually think I don't want the stone ability for this, so sorry. Oh, right, I'm blowing bubbles. I kind of forgot about that, but it's fine. Uh, yes. So, in case you can't figure it out, the solution here is I gotta make this in the image of what I saw in the other room. So I gotta be, gotta be real careful. Gotta be real, gotta be real, gotta be real with you right now. I, I, how close do I have to be to cause physical injury to blocks? How close do I have to be, Rick? How close? Close enough. Obviously. Well, I've done it. I've done the thing. So now we can leave. All right, well, now that that deed is done and I no longer have an ability to my name, I need to find a new one. It's okay, Rick is a fast boy. He has abilities of his own. Uh, oh, we got more of these guys. They exist, apparently. I don't really want Parasol, but I guess I'll take it. I mean, it's probably better than nothing. There's uh, the door down here. Ow, oh, I can get myself, um, Oh, there's the the, pan, the camera pans a little bit more, revealing bird. Let's go, Koo the owl. 
We've had some misgivings in the past because you are in fact an owl and all that, but uh... You know, I, I think I can handle it. So yeah, these guys are all different colors. Um, if a specific color shows up, we might have some problems. But thus far, it has not happened, so... It's f oh, there we go! Alright, so there's a color that matches every animal friend. And uh, if it matches, they move faster. Uh, that's the gimmick. It's just, you get a random color each time, so, you know. Uh, in this case, the happy face one matches Rick. And then, like, that other brown one matches the fluffy cat. So always remember this. Always use the knowledge that you have gained from watching YouTube videos of a dude talking over a video game. Always use that knowledge. That guy is literally a shape. Um, so that's pretty cool. I will never get the fat star. I want the fat star. It's so fat. I can't believe it. I'm not gonna lie, uh, Koo, you're not gonna be especially helpful here, are you? Uh, but we'll see. Wow, I can't believe it's Acro the Whale! Ha 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 That's his name for sure. Alright. Enough fooling around. I gotta be careful because I'm actually uh, semi low on health, which is to say I have only half of my health, and this boss actually kind of requires me to exert a little bit of effort. I just realized I'm using Parasol against a boss again. Uh, this, I guess, is a theme that is happening right now. We are moving our next phase of the fight to the underwater realms. Oh man. Get excited for the underwater zone! Population, a bird that doesn't work well underwater. It's truly tragic. You're supposed to, like, use the bubble blowing ability to actually shoot these projectiles he's dropping back at him. Um, I ain't got time for that, so I won't do it. Man, this parasol ability underwater is less than great, but you know what? It's good enough to make a whale explode! Yeah, buddy! I made a whale explode. What of it? I have the powers that nobody else has. I, I can just spin a whole lot. Not a whole lot, because you see, I'm underwater, so my, my spins are nerfed right now. It's fine, though. We've erased all the darkness. Yeah! Unconventional animal buddy. Let's go! Alright, we have erased the darkness. Let's go say hello to our friend, Acro. That is his name. I thought I was making a funny, when in reality I wasn't. Look at you, you're, you're having a good time. He is my friend now. Why isn't he in the water? No one ever understands the questions that I pose, apparently. It's truly a sad day. Anyway, next time, level three. See you later, and goodbye.